masajid in most parts of the world are closed and we should not attempt to congregate together and have our usual Eid prayers. We need to understand that during normal times, Friday prayers, the Friday Juma, is an obligation upon each and every one of us. And despite it being such a strict obligation, it falls off our shoulders in a situation like this, when we're dealing with a pandemic and when our authorities have asked us not to gather and not to congregate for prayers. On the other hand, when you look at Eid prayers, they aren't obligatory like Friday prayers. They are considered an emphasized sunnah as per the teachings of Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah. So it makes all the more sense that during a pandemic and when our authorities have asked us not to gather, not to congregate, that we do not attempt to congregate for Eid prayers. Having said that, this prayer, as per the view of Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah, it can be offered within the comfort of our own homes. This prayer can be offered individually. This prayer can also be offered collectively. And when I say collectively, I don't mean all of the neighbors getting together and offering the prayer collectively. No, you need to stay at home, you need to stay safe. When we say collectively, we mean family members within one family unit. Let's say the mother and father and the children husband and a wife they can pray together if they wish to or it can be offered individually in terms of how this prayer needs to be offered it's two units of prayer you won't have a khutbah you won't have a sermon like you do at the masajid it's just two units of prayer in the first unit after you tie your first takbir you will go on to tie an additional seven takbirat seven takbirs and then you will read surah al-fatiha another surah you will go down for ruku sujood and you will come up for your second unit the usual i mean ruku and then obviously two sujoods two such days and then you will come up for the second unit as you come up for the second unit you will say allahu akbar and stand and after that takbir you will tie another additional five takbirat five takbirs and then you will read surah al-fatiha another surah then go on for ruku go on for the two sajdas and your tashahud and then you will give your taslim assalamu alaikum and with that you fulfilled the sunnah of uh, the Eid prayer in the comfort of your